Peace and blessings everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead. Guys, today we are out here early this morning. Just getting ready to do an update and a little bit of harvesting as well. Now, I know if y'all check in the previous videos, you guys seen how we were hit by frost with our brassicas. But guys, we had a little bit of patience. We left them alone. And look at here, guys. They bounced right back up. Now, you still can see a little bit of damage uh, around on the leaves. Um, you know, we got a couple of leaves here. But you can see that brown spotlight. You know, that's, that's from, you know, the burning of the, the frost. But guys, I'm telling you, so far, everything is looking wonderful in this uh, garden bed right here. Now, if y'all remember, this bed right here is our no-till bed. And you can go back and check those videos out about how we go about building this bed here, guys. But I just want to show you guys a little bit of what's going on inside of this bed here. Now, right here, what we have planted, we have planted uh, broccoli. Now, you can see we have a little bit of foliage, you know, a little bit of uh, growth coming up from those broccolis there. Also, over here, we have some. Now, all these right here was planted at the same time. Now, these one right here, they're moving a little bit slower, but, you know, hey, we're going to leave them, have a little bit of patience, and over time, this one have not started folding yet. But, guys, I want to take you all around on the other side just to kind of show you what's, what's, you know, the progress that we are having here. Now, these are the other broccoli right here, and as you all can see, that's a nice head of broccoli that's going to get harvest today. Let's bring you all down where y'all can, you know, check it out. And also over here, we also have another one that's going to be ready for harvest today as well. And that is a beautiful head of broccoli, guys. And when I get ready to cut these, yes, I am going to take you guys along with me. And over here, we have our cabbage. And this cabbage here is ready. As you see, I come here and uh, this is how I test my cabbage. Most of the time when I come out in the garden, I test my cabbage to check and make sure they're ready. And pretty much, you wanna go ahead and give it a, you know, like a firm little squeeze. If you have no give on the inside of that head right there, that means that the head of cabbage is full and is ready to be harvested. Uh, this one right here, it can go a little bit more. Let me see if I find one where, okay, so this one right here. Now, see, I'm pushing on it, and I'm getting a lot of give. That means it's not full on the inside as yet. But how to tell your, your cabbage is ready, when you give that push, you're ready to go. Now, as I did in previous videos, guys, what I told you about these cabbage here. And look, I have a foot and a half I want to say walk space in between here and look at that I have to watch the way how I walk when I come down inside of these rows here because these cabbage they're just hoozing out everywhere guys and it's, it's definitely a blessing like I said all I did I come out here and put the work in and the father up above bring it forth to increase and for that I am thankful but uh right here we have uh, these purple cabbage here they are real nice and firm and just, you know, you can see that dew on them. They are looking real good. Now, these here is not ready just as yet, but they're getting to the, you know, to that point where they'll be ready pretty soon. All right. And so over here, we have some, uh, we have a couple more uh, collard greens right here. And further down, we have some. Brussels sprout and what we're going to be doing this morning with our Brussels sprout is uh, the bottom leaves on our Brussels sprout We will be taking those off so that way uh, The energy can go to the Brussels sprout and so that's one of the things that we're going to be doing this morning And guess what guys when we take those uh, leaves off the bottom. They don't go to waste uh, We keep those take them inside clean them up give what we can give to the chickens and the rest take for us all right so we're gonna go ahead on over here now and cut a head of cabbage and also these broccoli here that is ready 
And so, hey, my wife says she's gonna hook something up later on today. And it's just a beauty, you know, when you plant your own stuff and you're able to reap the benefit. That's the beauty about gardening, guys. Even though sometimes it may seem like it's a lot of work, but it pays off in the long run. All you have to do is just have patience with your plants, nurture them, feed them, and watch them grow. And so when you watch them grow, and then it comes to this time right here, where we go ahead and harvest our cabbage. Oh, look at there, guys. Oh, just break the leaf. Look at that root system there, guys. And you wonder why these cabbage here are so big is because they love in the environment that they're in. There are roots just about everywhere on these cabbage. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and, and look at here. We have another little baby cabbage trying to, eh, yep, that's a baby cabbage was trying to come out on the side. So let me go ahead and clean this up right here. Ooh, that was a lot of load on the bottom of that and of course you know your bottom leaves on your cabbage is always gonna experience the most blow of whatever it is that's trying to mess with them so clean this one off here this goes don't look too bad but, all right that is it right there oh our first one for 2021 uh pretty nice head of cabbage um i'm gonna go ahead and put this here in our baskets get my hands cleaned up come back and we're gonna go ahead and uh cut those broccoli there okay hey guys and so we are back here <clears throat> harvesting up our broccoli here guys and as y'all can see they are looking real nice now i'm going to show you in just a moment one of the things what we're going to be doing with our broccoli here that way we can have abundance of harvest guys just put that down a while ago so i'm going to go ahead and cut another one here all right that's it right there all right guys so one of the things that we're going to talk a little bit about with our broccoli I'm gonna bring you all down here because this is a real good example right here that I can show you now if you look right here guys that is a baby broccoli that's another broccoli coming up off of this plant right here now <clears throat> what I'm gonna do with these leaves right here because these leaves right here as well we're gonna bring these on the inside for our family and we're gonna partake of these leaves here so I'm gonna come in right here just cut these leaves all right and it's not going to hurt the plant because what's going to happen is you can see with this other broccoli that's right here it's putting on its own little leaves guys and i'm going to leave this right here and as that head get to a nice size it's not going to get as big as the one i just cut but as it get to a certain size guys like a little miniature guard uh miniature broccoli we're going to come through and we're going to go ahead and harvest those as well but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my leaves first because you see how nice and green these leaves are? Hey, that is dinner right there as well, okay? And another example, what I was telling you further down here, you can see, let me get this out of the way so you can see it a little bit better. You can see where it is bringing up another shoot down there at the bottom. And another little baby broccoli will be coming out from the inside of there. All right. And so I think these rest of leaves here, you know, look like could be for the chickens. And definitely nothing goes to waste here on the homestead. Now we're going to go ahead and finish harvesting up a little bit more of these leaves. And cut that last broccoli that we have there. Of nice looking 
Drop the leaf here. I'm gonna go ahead and put those right there as well inside of our handy dandy basket and come back through and cut. Oh, there we go. And we have a leaf falling. And so that is it right there, guys. Not a broccoli for the dinner table. just want to bring you all along with me today on that little harvest there with our brassicas now there is more to be harvest but we're not gonna harvest everything right now uh, we do have a couple of people out there that is waiting on cabbages and different other stuff and we'll hey, we we'll, we're we'll coming we're coming but guys I just want to say thank you all for stopping by the humble servant homestead peace and blessings to each and every one of you guys out there and get outside get your hands dirty and go play in the dirt all right have a blessed day